Alrighty, uh, I should probably get my headphones on. That would probably be wise. That way. Oh, buddy. We're in for a good stream today. So, we are doing something fun. We're playing something that's not Fortnite or Warzone, finally. Actually, to be honest, I say that as if it's a good thing, but to be honest, everyone probably wants me to be playing Fortnite or Warzone right now. I'm playing what I want to finally play. So, there's an emulator out there for PS2. It's called PCSX2. And I've been playing games off of an ISO file, which getting those is kind of risky. You gotta be kind of careful. And, you know, legally, it's not very legal. But! Something that PCSX2 can actually do, if you have an optical drive in your PC and a physical copy of the game, you could probably still, like, burn something to a disc. But I have my actual copies of the game. Like, I literally have, you know, Gran Turismo. I actually have Madden. I actually have SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. If you actually have those games, you can put them in an optical drive. If you have it on your PC... And PCSX2 can just run them from disk. And the convenience of this, at least from what I've been seeing so far, I can pretty much put the game on max settings and it'll run at 60 FPS. No problems whatsoever. It's perfect. Until I can actually finally get a PS2, I can essentially just run these games as if I'm playing them like a PS2, except the PS2 is actually now a PS5. It's perfect emulation, essentially. So, this is really convenient. Because, you know, DVD drive right in my PC. I like having that extra stuff because, you know, you never know when you're actually going to need it like this. So, we're playing Gran Turismo 3. I love this game. I would be playing Gran Turismo 4, but to be honest, now that I've seen what I can do with this, I would just rather get a Gran Turismo 4 disc. Also, ISOs take up a lot of space, man. Those things are like 10 gigs. Just for an ISO file. I don't like trying to keep them around. And, you know, they're not very legal. So, it's kind of illegal. Yeah, it sucks. But, um... So, we're starting a new file. Again, like, uh, like, I've, like I've said, everything's like cranked up to max. We got it on widescreen, all the anthropom... Anthroposcopic? Whatever it's called. But, uh, all the rendering has been beefed up to max. I'm running this in full screen right now. This game is jacked. But, we have a goofy little Toyota Vince. This thing is kind of dumb looking, but it's actually really good. You can, you can essentially, like, beef this thing out for the early game and just start farming cash. Because... Gran Turismo really doesn't get good until you can start farming cash. Until then, it's kind of just like, aw oh, man, I gotta do races tediously and all that crap. So a lot of a lot of the early game of Gran Turismo is a lot of farming until you can start grinding cash. So that's what we're in right now. We're still kind of in the this grinding cash phase. But the Vitz RS is really good because you can do Sunday Cup, Clubman Cup, FF Challenge. Once if you get if you get a natural if you keep it naturally aspirated, yeah, you can do the naturally aspirated one. But the big money one is the Turbo Cup. Turbo Cup gives a ton of money, and you can even do one of the few. Um, in the beginner cup, there's not a lot of um. There isn't a lot of series races, but one of them you can do is the Vitz race. And the Vitz race pays out really well, and you get a free Vitz at the end of it to sell. So, if you get all, if you win it. So, it's a really easy one. I don't know what happened in sixth place there. I think I just got screwed over completely. I think it was, um, I think it was Trial Mountain. I got completely screwed over. But I had so many points, it didn't matter. But... To be able to do the NA, the naturally aspirated sports, Turbo Cup, or any of that stuff, we gotta get the B license. I forgot to do this, because getting the licenses is really easy to do early game, because it's just kind of like, it's not like it, it feels like a hassle, it's just kind of like, oh, beginning of the save file, easy claps. This, I've forgotten to do it, and now it's really annoying. 
So we're gonna get this done with. So beginning part of this stream might be a little boring, but trust, we're gonna get through it really easily. It's just the beat spec license. We'll have to do the ones later, because I, I want to do more of this stuff on stream. I've been wanting to do Gran Turismo for a streaming thing for a long time now. But I rebuilt my PC, lost the save file to my Gran Turismo 4 save file, completely lost motivation to keep doing that. Gran Turismo 3 ran like dookie because hardware emulation, like hardware or software emulation both kind of suck. Not great, but whatever. Because they're not great. Uh, you have to have a pretty good PC to be able to run the games fully. Like, fully, and that's if you want, like, maxed out everything. Um, Man, my hair's kind of itchy today. It's, like, itching my forehead. So, now that we have this ability to be able to do, like, disc emulation, like, straight rip from disc, it, it's not even really emulation if you actually think about it. It's really just, like outside sourced like actual playing because like this is the actual game this is Gran Turismo 3 this isn't some pirated copy this is a straight up disc it's a Gran Turismo 3 disc inside of a PC it's just it's not running from a PS2 it's running from a PC I guess that's still technically emulation because of the fact that it's like, yeah, like, oh, holy crap. All right. I kind of misjudged that. Because, like, yeah, I guess it's not, I guess it's still technically emulation. Because emulation is running a game not on the native hardware, not the disc. So, like, I guess. But, like, also, if you think about it, is it emulation if you were to do, like, a PS2 hard mod where you mod it so that the hard drive can run whatever game you want? Because you can put a hard drive in a PS2, the expansion bay port. And you can do hard mods on them that allow you to completely, like, region free a PS2 or whatever you want. But, like, is that technically emulation? You're running it from native hardware, but you're also using pirated games. It's not the real game. It is the real game, but, you know, it's an illegally obtained version. You know, like, this is a legally obtained copy of Gran Turismo 3. I bought it at a game store in, like, June of last year. No, May of last year. Dang. Oh, no. Um, I accidentally was looking at the stream. But it's just, like, it's not that. It's, I don't, what's the legality of this? You know, like, what what is this? Where does this stand? This is that weird gray area of emulation. I don't really know. Um... Yeah, it's not like we've jailbroken anything either, you know. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, way too early. Man, the Dodge Viper is such a goofy car. I don't like you. You're a fun car to drive. Not in Laguna Seca. Laguna Seca braking challenge is torture. There's like so many goofy Gran Turismo memes. It's like, Looking at a game like Gran Turismo is so goofy. Chicken tenders and fries. If you're eating that for dinner, you're having a great dinner. Um, but it's like, Gran Turismo is one of those games that it's just like, it's memes make no sense if you've never played the game. Like, there are a lot of games where even if you've never played the game, the meme is still kind of funny. Gran Turismo, you can say pink vits, and people who have never played the game are just like, yeah, it's just a car. But the people who have played the game are like, I want to kill you now. The, the story behind that is that there are a lot of cups throughout Gran Turismo where it'll be a really hard cup, this really hard challenge, and guess what you get? You get a pink Toyota Vince, an absolute bean wagon of a car, which actually happens to be the car that we're running right now. But it's just like, it feels like an insult. Or the fact, uh, like Corvette, C, like C1 Corvette. I see the party poppers, by the way. Like, C1 Corvette, the fact that that car is allowed to cheat. There are a lot of instances in Gran Turismo where the max cap for the horsepower will set to be, like, I don't know, 400. But there will be a car that goes over 400. 
And they're like cheater cars. Because it's like, you're not allowed to do that. Why are you allowed to do that? You could have a souped up car, but because it's not allowed to go over that horsepower limit, it's like, they're really hard to beat. You gotta be good at the game to be able to, you know, pass them. That was close. <laughs> um, yeah, they're really goofy. Um, or just really dumb cars, like the, um, or in Gran Turismo before the coffee breaks, it's like POV you accidentally screw up a coffee break. To an outsider, it's like, you're drinking coffee, how do you screw that up? But in the game, it's like, no, that's something completely wrong. In Gran Turismo 4, the way you do, um, oh, the way you do the licenses, halfway through you get a coffee break. It's a really easy challenge that you do with, like, it's a car manufacturer, but the car's called the Cappuccino, which is really funny, because, you know, Cappuccino, coffee break. Um, but it's really goofy, because of the fact that it's, like, it's a really easy thing to do. It's usually just, like, knock over the cones in a spiral. But it's, like, really easy. Or, like, Moon Over the Castle. Moon Over the Castle's been is, like, known as, like, the main theme of Gran Turismo. It... Oh! No. I don't know why this breaking challenge is actually taking forever. The breaking challenges are really easy. I guess I'm just not locked in today. Jello, can we get a Hunter lock in in the chat? If this was a Twitch stream, I'd have so many goofy, like, little stickers you could have, like, Hunter lock in. The amount of times that we say that, or you guys say that, I'm not using, I'm not, I wouldn't need to tell myself to lock in. Silver, baby. Let's go. Ba, 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 wang, wang. I actually usually get gold on this one, because this one's actually really easy, because if you time it up right, you can get the brakes to just stop the car completely. I also don't like that, this is something I don't like about Gran Turismo 3, you can't just go to the next driving things, they're, they're treated as their individual challenge, because in Gran Turismo 4, you can do them all in a series, you wouldn't have to back out every time, I don't like this car, this car sucks, this car has given me so much pain, by the way, we're playing this on a PS4 controller, I want to get a PS3 controller for game emulation, I, but my problem with that is the fact that I've always thought it's pretty dumb to buy a whole specific controller just for game emu emulation. Like, it's like, just kind of, why do that? Like, I like the PS3 controller. Like, the DualShock 3 is, like, my favorite controller of all time. Like, I, I generally just do like the controller. Um, but it's just kind of like, why buy it for PC emulation? Because funny, yeah. But it's like, why buy it just for PC emulation? I mean, it would make the experience way better, especially since the PS3 controller is literally just a wireless PS2 controller. They changed virtually nothing between the DualShock 1 and the DualShock 3. They added better rumble. Uh, better buttons. That's about it. Oh, wireless. With the PS3 controller, it was wireless. Um, but, like, that's it. That's all they changed. That, that's all that was changed. Um, like, the analog buttons of PlayStation controllers. Ooh. Ooh. I do like how this car controls. This is a nicely controlling car. Too bad it's some random obscure car that I'll never use. Some people have money to spare. No, I'm not saying, like, I don't get why people do the concept. It's it's more so a me thing. It's like, I don't know why I would want to spend money just for emulation when I already plan to buy another PS2 eventually. Like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a new PS2 eventually. I just don't got money right now. Which is annoying. I don't get money till like, my birthday, which is... Three months. Maybe I can have three more months. I don't like that. Ooh, Honda Civic time, boys. Let's go. I'd love to get a racing wheel. I want to get a racing wheel so badly. And the funny part about it, you can get a racing wheel for a PS2. PS2s 
uh, supported pretty much any Logitech racing wheel made at the time. You should, like, you should, like, get a job. Uh, problem with that, my brain capacity for that is not great. It's actually funny. The Little Caesars down the road is hiring, which is funny because of all jobs. Because here's the problem of, of living where I do. I'm not, I was about to actually say where I live. That would have been a big misinput. But the problem of living where I do. You should review the three videos I sent on Discord. I haven't checked those out because I was going to look at them on my phone, but they make me open VLC, which means I don't care. Um, but, like, the problem of living where I do, it's all retail stores, restaurants. That is it. Literally, that's it. So, it's, it's like, uh, yay, I get to suffer working at a retail store or suffer working at a restaurant. I've narrowed it down to, it's not like it would be fun to work at a Little Caesars, but compared to a McDonald's or a family fair, I'll, I'd take the Little Caesars. Sure, McDonald's might pay a little better from what I've seen. From what I've seen, McDonald's seems to pay a little better. I'd actually hope that Little Caesars would pay better in the end. I'd way hope that that would. But I would way rather hope that Little Caesars is the better experience compared, compared to a McDonald's where you're constantly, I mean, sure, at a Little Caesars, it's probably consistently understaffed, which, yeah, it'd probably suck, but I would take that over constant lunch rush, dinner rush, morning rush, like, at a McDonald's, it's nonstop grind. You have to deal with all three meals of the day. Plus nighttime when you got people going in for the midnight snack. I mean, either way, yeah. Yeah, either way, I'm dealing with hangry people. But it's just like, I'd rather be making some pizzas. Especially since Blake. Blake wants to work at a Little Caesars too. And we, we're talking about the same one. So potentially working with Blake at a Little Caesars, that could actually be fun. Oh, ooh. A, a, a restaurant job being fun? No way. But, like, you know, if you have a job... It's like it's like if you... It's like how if you have a class with a friend. A class with a friend makes it automatically pretty tolerable, even if the teacher's kind of bad. Um... Blake is, Blake as a co-worker would genuinely... No shot, I just got this one first try. I suck at this one. Oh, what? Yeah. 0 .003. 0 .003. Literal fraction of a second. But, like, yeah. The problem in town is that there isn't a lot of places that would hire a 15-year-old. The places that do are torture to work at. Like, completely torture... Like, going, going into high school, I'm going to have to deal with first year of high school. Terrible. Job. Um, driver's ed. Catastrophe trio right there. Like, actual catastrophe trio. Because here, here's the inconvenience. I really want to take driver's training now. I can take driver's training now. I, I have the ability to. 14 years, 9 months. Michigan is really goofy when it comes to their... Uh, when it comes to their driver's ed, but I actually like it because unlike other states, we actually have the advantage of you can actually take it really early. But it's it, it's it's the convenience of I can actually take it now, which I like. Um, it's inconvenient. Cause I have parents that want me to take it during winter. I'll let you borrow my license to drive. <laughs> Hey, the, the convenience with us, from what I've heard from Hunter, we have the same birthday. So, one thing would be similar. Also, you don't you not even technically have a license? Don't you just have a permit? Or What do you get after finishing stage one of it? Do you get a permit? Is that what you get after stage one? You just get a permit? Yeah, okay, you get a permit after stage one. That makes sense. 
I don't really want to take driver's ed in, while in high school. Because, like, I want to get it done now. Like, my, my objective is to get it done now. Because the second I can get it done, I can start working on the driving hours. It's, like, 20 hours and five of them have to be at night. Which is actually going to be really annoying. 20 hours at night is going to be... Five hours at night is going to be kind of annoying, especially because... Of the Oh, wait, I completed this one. I don't even need to do it. Because of the fact that, like, my parents don't ever want to do anything at night. It's just, like, I want to get it done now so I can work on the hours. The second I can get done with the hours, I just got to wait till I'm... Don't you have to wait... I think it's... You have to wait till you're 16, and then you can work on stage two. And then once you get those driving hours, you got to, like, submit something. And then you can get your actual license. I don't remember how the stage two part of it works. All I remember is that you take stage... Is you have to have taken the 20 hours. You have to have done the 20 hours of driving. And then you can start stage two. You have to do those hours. And I don't remember what the application process is. All I know is you actually have to go take a driving test. At the DMV. Um, and then you sub, and then you take a test, and then you can actually get your license. I don't remember what the part of that after stage two is. Um, yay! All right, we have stage B license. We can do our Turbo Cup. Um, but like, yeah, I want to get that done as soon as possible. The place where my parents want me to go, there are classes open for like May and June. Those are the nearest ones. I'd like to, like, just get it done with. Sooner I can work on it. Only problem is, is that I do not like the pet cars that my parents have. They're literal, because, like, they're not bad cars, but in contrast to the cars that I want, one of the instructors had a turbo in their car. That must have been fun. You have to wait, like, two years or, without getting in an accident. Yeah, alrighty. Because, like, all right, all right, I'll show you the car. I'm not going to show you the exact cars that my parents have, but it's, like. I was actually going to search up the specific model, but I'm not. I don't want to completely dox. But it's, like, all righty. Here's, like, the kind of parents that my parents have. SUVs. All-wheel all -wheel drive SUVs. They're, they're bigger cars. Here's the problem. The car that I actually want to get, as of now, there are cars that I do like. But it's like, th this is the car that I actually want to get. It's, right now, it's a, some sort of BMW E46. Preferably a, coupe or sedan model preferably a coupe with just the best engine that i can find for the money currently that's an e46 which is smaller sedan slash coupe learning in a big car is almost completely useless if the car if the car that i actually want to buy is a completely different type of car it's still learning how to drive nonetheless but it's kind of like it, it feels like I'm learning... It, it would feel like I'm trying to learn a completely different thing. If anyone can speak about that, I'd appreciate it. But it's just like... I feel like on paper, what I'm doing versus what I'm actually... What I'm learning versus what I'm actually going to be doing feels kind of contradicting. This is going to be a goofy race. That's a constant straight. I get the feeling that this race might not go well. Sure, I made a... I may have kind of I've beefed up this car a bit like I've kind of clapped out this car a bit like a clapped out vit sounds kind of dumb but I did it that turn was bad but um I have an R32 on my cheeks that's not good oh I forgot I hate midfield raceway if you have a car that can't take turns at like 90 degree angles you're kind of dead in which the VIT is terrible for turning. This little bean wagon's way too heavy for what it is. I'm pretty sure most cars are designed to control relatively the same. 
most cars. I mean, I guess the convenience of my dad's car, it is an all-wheel drive car. So, I guess if I had to learn during the winter, it wouldn't be torturous. Front wheel or rear... Single... Single wheel drive cars are not fun to drive during Michigan winters. Constantly getting stuck, having no traction on the road whatsoever. It's a terrible experience. That's also why I don't want to try to do driver's training during winter. Like, dog, why would you want to make someone try to drive during winter where they can possibly damage your car easily, get it stuck, and on parent side of things, least cold Michigan weather, yeah. It's like, on the parent side of things, do you really want me to pot potentially destroy your car? Why would you want that? I don't see the practicality of that. Sure, you're learning how to drive in tough conditions, so it'll properly weather you on, you know, driving. Easy, Normal conditions will seem really easy, and even then, bad conditions will still seem doable, tolerable. But here's the problem. Telling someone to who has never driven a car before to try to drive in terrible conditions... That, that's not a good idea. You're literally asking for a damaged car. Like, I feel like that's how it's going to end. Now, like, to the person who's, like, telling me to do that, it's like, well, why you wouldn't you try to be, you know, not having the car crash? Here's the problem. It's, sure, I'm not going to try to crash the car. Who's to say that it can't still happen? The car might get stuck. The car might slip. It's like... Even with an all-wheel drive car, there's still a good chance that it can crash, especially if you don't have winter tires on the car. Goobers that still have their summer tires on the car in an all-wheel drive car, it's still not going to be a fun time during winter. You're still going to have a terrible time during winter. Show your instructors your streams. Are you saying that legitimately or are you saying that as a joke? Because sure, I might play Gran Turismo and do pretty well, but... I still drive off the road a lot. If you, if the practicality of that was to be true, then I'd say buy a racing wheel. Also, I wouldn't be showing them Gran Turismo 3. It would be Gran Turismo 7 with a racing wheel. That would be a way better way of doing it. With, with a proper, um, manual transmission system. Because here's the thing. This is definitely something that I should have told you guys that I haven't told you guys. I want to learn how to drive a manual tra a manual transmission because of the fact that all of the cars that I want to drive are all manual transmissions. Most BMW cars are manual transmissions. There's only usually maybe one or two models of that specification that are automatics. Also, Manuals are cheaper generally. People sell manuals for cheaper, so I can actually there's a highly like there's a higher likelihood that I can find a car that I want for you know actual probable amounts of money. Um and manual transmissions are easier to repair. Literally a manual transmission is I think only 4% of cars on earth are manuals. But here, like, here's the thing. A manual transmission's a lot easier to do. You have your clutch, your flywheel, the stuff that actually connects those, the gearbox, and, like, maybe a couple extra things. An automatic transmission, it's, like, torque converter, a lot of electronics. Like, that's the thing I like about manual cars. It, it doesn't rely as much on electronic fail-safes. It's a lot of just mechanical thing will do its thing, and it won't do its thing only if it breaks. That's the only way it'll stop working. Also, I don't think we're going to do very well in this race. The problem with test course is the fact that it's all straightaways. Uh, we're stuck at 129 miles per hour. This thing tops out at 129. Everyone's just going to pass us, like... We need to have a car that's jacked. I think our objective, save up, buy a full, full customizable transmission so we can just mess around with the gear ratio and just send it. 
Because we have a lot of engine power, we're kind of limited to 124. That's kind of it. We can't go any faster. So we'll do... Oh, I don't like that. That's mean. Oh. This... Oh, the emulation does not like this map. I think it's like... 55 FPS it's running at right now. I guess something I don't like about emulation is the fact that the way... Webcamus Bex. I guess the thing I don't like about, um... Something I don't like about emulation is the fact that the FPS is completely reliant on the game speed. You can have a game that runs poorly, but it's like you know kind of still like moving like it's still kind of moving in real time if this game were to be running in 30 fps that's half speed that's straight half speed so everything feels really slow and chugging and then 120 fps is double speed instead of just feeling really smooth it's double speed I don't like that that's how it works. I'm probably getting this all wrong. Like, I guess it's just kind of more of a feel thing. Like, the game just feels really wrong. Instead of feeling like how it actually should be. But it's just kind of like... I don't like that that's how the frame FPS system works in, these, in emulation. I kind of would just like it to be like... 120 FPS just feels really smooth. But not that I'm blasting across the raceway in a little nugget car. How's the plunger? It's good. It's funny, I couldn't find a drill, so I had to like I had to cut out a hole. For the for the actual hole. Mwah. You drill hole in it? Yeah, I don't have a... I couldn't find a drill. I don't know why. I like how all power tools, like... Literally, it's actually funny. We actually have... If I go look... Because we have, like, a shed for all our stuff. Okay. It, we have a bunch of stuff. Like, we literally have a whole ratchet set. A whole spanner set. Like, a bunch of toolkits. No drill. No, nothing that resembles a drill. How do you how do you have everything but a drill? I don't know. Guess not. So that's kind of goofy, but it do be do. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing this instead of a Fortnite or Warzone stream, Fortnite and Warzone stream Warzone streams are fun. A drill is like the main thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's just kind of like, Warzone and Fortnite, I do those because I know they get views. Gran Turismo, I play it because I like it. Like, there's kind of a difference. It's like, there are games that you play because you know they do well. There are games that you play because you like playing them. By the way, man, this course is really bad for this car. I need to get the full service transmission so I can get something that gives us a good top speed while still shifting through gears nice and fast. It's getting like four views right now. Yeah, this isn't actually bad for a stream. This is actually doing pretty good for a stream. Um, so I think I might do it, keep doing this. But um, it's just like... Oh man, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, the other thing. We need to give this thing a good engine upgrade and a good, um... There's only, like, two, though. Oh, man, I keep forgetting. We need, I need to get something that gives it another good engine upgrade. The turbo you can only send to a certain amount. Like, the turbo you can only service to a certain level. I think everything else, we gotta get, like, the full customized stuff, because then we can edit it all and torque to our spec, you know? Torque to what we like. So, it's kind of nice.
It's not really a lot to talk about right now. It's just kind of play game. We were going on a tangent about how I really don't like how I, how I'm pretty much being forced to do driver's training stuff. I don't like it. Bro's locked in, yeah. I guess. I'm not winning, but we're driving a Toyota Vitz. What do you expect? Um. Oh, I forgot to do my laundry. Time to set an alarm for 7 o'clock. How old is you right now? 14. To sum it up. Okay, to sum it up. I'm at the, I'm at the age where I can start uh, stage one of driver's training in Michigan. I'm at the I'm at the age where I can do that. But uh, I'm like 14 years and 10 months. Um, here's the thing. I am at the ability where I could take driver's training right now. I'm old enough. Yeah. Stage one for Michigan is like 14 years and nine months. I'm at the ability where I can do that right now. But here's the problem. I'm pretty much being forced to level right. I have to take it in winter. I really don't want to do that for two reasons. One, because the way I see taking driver's ed is that you should just get it done. It shouldn't really matter when you do it. You should just want to get it done so you can get the driving hours done. And then when stage two comes around, you take that, get the driving hours done. And when you're able to, take the actual driving test at the DMV and get your license. That's the way I see it. Everyone, their goal should be... Uh, I'll get I'll get to that. Uh, like I, the way I see it, your your goal should be getting it done with. You should want to get it all done with so that you can actually you know tra properly drive a car so you have the ability to drive. Driving should be something that you should want to get as soon as possible as it's really important, especially if you live in a place. Um, second reason. It's it's cause they want me to do it in poopy condition. That is really bad for two reasons. The, that, that's really bad for one reason, and it's good for one reason. The way it's good is because, yes, it'll weather some... It'll, it, will, it will teach someone how to drive in terrible conditions. Therefore, in normal conditions, you know, they, they know how to drive really well. In bad conditions, they'll still, they'll still know how to drive. They'll, they'll still know how to drive in those poor conditions, and they don't have to try to weather it. Here's the problem. Telling someone to drive who has never driven before in poor conditions is asking for them to damage your car. You're asking for damage to the car. Poor weather conditions in Michigan, near blizzard conditions, it's going to result poorly. It's, it's going to end up very bad. You're, you're likely going to have multiple vehicle damages. And now you might be saying it's like, oh, they would tell you to not damage the car. Yeah, no crap they would tell me to not damage the car. I exactly. And, like, I don't get that. Like, it's just like, I, I don't get it. What's the thinking behind that? Why would you want someone to try to drive a car in poor conditions... It just doesn't make sense to me. Why would you want someone to do that? My goal is to take it as fast as I can. I'm trying to rally for that. I'm trying to get that to actually be the thing that happens. I want that to happen. But it depends if I'm good enough at convincing. Because it, it, it does cost money. Let me actually check how much it is. Let me actually check how much it is for the class. Segment one. All right. Um, man, their pictures are old. Those cars are likely new, but they're not. Um, I do like their hours. Summertime classes are either nine, nine to 11, 12 to two, three to five. I like those hours. Although, yeah, I don't like those school year ones. I don't like the 4 to 6 p.m., 6.30 to 8.30. That's stinky. Um, I probably want to just do summer, but even then, summer. All right, so segment one. Where are the class lists? You 
Yeah, it's like 575 bucks. It's not cheap. Get a racing wheel and start practicing on Gran Turismo. Yeah, I want to do that. Like, I actually want to get a racing wheel. Because here's something actually funny about Gran Turismo. This is a Gran Turismo game that was released for the PS2. Gran Turismo 3 was released in 2001. The PS2 literally allowed for any Logitech racing wheel released in that time. Like, if I actually... Here, give me a second. I'll actually show you guys. It's kind of funny. All I have to do is just go to the run-in setting, Laguna Seca. Here, here's the funny part. I, I can do that. Because I don't have I don't have Gran Turismo 7 on my PS4. I would love to, but I can't. Uh, no, it's not It's not in that setting. Uh, if I go to options, and I go to wheel... Anything is allowed. It's fair game. So it, it's like I could do that. And the better way would actually be Gran Turismo 4. Gran Turismo 4, the way people like to put it, Gran Turismo 3 was getting a Gran Turismo game out on PS3. It doesn't do a lot for... Or BMNG. Yes, BMNG would actually be the best version. Um, Because, like... Um, cause like, Gran Turismo 3 was getting a Gran Turismo out on PS3, you know, like finally getting that Gran Turismo game out for PS3 so people can finally play a Gran Turismo game. Gran Turismo 4 was taking the PS, was taking the PS2's maximum capabilities, absolutely like fully, the full capacity of the PS3, of the, of the PS2, and turning that into a Gran Turismo game. It's a great looking game. It actually supports 1080p for the actual native PS2 game. I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a series race for this game. Um, just because of the fact that we can actually properly do that. Um, but yeah, racing wheels are expensive, man. I just don't got the money to spend on that stuff. Like... Best shit racing wheel for Gran Actually it's not terrible. I don't hate that. It's got paddle shifters. Oh my god. It's not happy. Um Right, I'm trying this one that this guy said is a really good one. Yeah, those are expensive. That's like 500 bucks. The one for uh, on Amazon. Send a link. I'll look at that. Because I actually have an Amazon account, so I can... Okay, there we go. Because I actually have an Amazon account, so I can just throw that in a cart. A second i have to make sure that the i li what i have to do is i have to make sure that the droid cam clients on screen so i can actually see what the face cam seeing right now to make sure everything looks fine because like yeah i don't know if there's really anything else to talk about with the uh driving thing oh no obs is having a stroke obs are we good we're having a midlife crisis. How's everything looking like on your guys' end? Saying poor. I'm gonna send it on Discord. Alright, cool. Um, that might not be good. The thing I don't like about doing a Gran Turismo stream, stream is the fact that I don't like talking when I'm playing Gran Turismo. I just kind of like to sit here and play the game. 
it's my kind of sit down game that I can play at the end of the day and just chill. But now streaming it, it's like, it does good. People like watching it. I don't like talking. I don't want to talk. I just want to play the game. But sitting here with a face cam showing that I'm visibly not saying anything is kind of just like, why isn't he saying anything, you know? Like it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I might want to be careful with this because of the fact that there is copy a lot of this music is copyrighted um so that might be a problem evening retro yeah that doesn't look bad for switch and pc oh buddy does this work with? While well, playing Mario, how would you connect this to a Switch? I want to know. Yeah, 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 PC. Who cares about copyright? Yeah, buddy. But like, I guess if I just stop talking, it's because I'm, like, actually really trying to win the race, alrighty? I think y'all, I think y'all would understand that. Because that's just kind of how I've been, but. I guess if you don't know, that's how it is. Oh my god, finally, now that I have sports brakes and good wheels, I can finally take those turns nice. Was that an attempt at a racial slur in chat, or... Is that some sort of abbreviation? I don't know if I'm getting it. If it was an abbreviation, uh, well, what the heck was that? If it, that was an attempt at a racial slur, uh, uh, I don't know. It's something though. Nah, it's nice guy. You're frying my brain. My brain can't take the pain. This stream probably won't be too long because I want to play uh, some Warzone. Definitely not official, sir. Um, because my brother said he would get back into Warzone. Or, well, I mean, I more so and reinstalled it. But I reinstalled it on the PS4. On our PS4. And, um... I gotta help him set it up. Because I gotta link a freaking Activision account. As I think you do. You usually have to link an, Activa that, an Activision account. And the problem is the fact that, um... The problem with the Activision accounts is the fact that I've made so many over the years that I genuinely don't think I know a good email to use. But, um, I gotta help him set that crap up. It's like, I don't, will you ban me if I say it? I don't know. Don't test it though. Um, but it's just kind of like, I just never have anyone to play Warzone with. Like, the people that do play Warzone are people that I just don't really want to play with. And, like, the people that I do play Warzone with are not many. So it's just like, okay. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did. Um, But it's just kind of like, also, we're just going to exit. I have the credits. It's fine. But it's just, but it's just kind of like, I know my brother's good at BR games, and I know he is good at Warzone. He is pretty good at COD. 
So it's just like I know I could actually do pretty good with him. Sure, with each. Um. Alrighty, here comes the fun part of Gran Turismo. Editing. By the way, um, I was actually going to try to get a video out for today. I actually was recording a video last night. Um, half of it got corrupted. Uh, apparently the SD card in my camera just decided to have a stroke. And does Jonah have the pass? Probably, but he probably shouldn't. His rights should probably be revoked. There's so many there's so much incriminating evidence of Jonah with the N-word. It's kinda of funny. Also, there's no more cheap things to buy for this car. It's all expensive stuff. Alright. What are you saying? No, 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 no. Not like that. Nah, you can't be twisting my words like that. Ugh, I hate this part clipped. <laughs> You're done, buddy. Alrighty, this is my... You're done. You're done. Even then, we don't even actually have a lot of settings. You have to get, like, full customized uh, suspension to get all this. You have to get the brake balancer to get this. Um, I don't think there's any downforce or anything that you can actually get for this. But even then, we'd have to get the full spec limited slip thing. Oh, you thought you were going to college? No idea. I don't want to go to college, bro. All right. So, the gears go out really wide. So that that now means that we're gonna have a nice high top speed. But. Any hope is gone. Oh man, that stinks. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's try that. What we're going for here is we're going for a setting we're going for a setting that gives us a nice launch, a nice launch start on that's going to give us a really good launch start on that on those first and second gears, but kind of climb, but let us climb to a really high top speed. That's what we're going for here. This actually probably isn't a good map for this. But our goal is to get up to a top speed. The goal is to get up to a top speed here. Yeah, see, those first two gears jump. Third gear, nice, nice. Yeah, let's go to test course. We're going to go to test course where we can get a straight. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I know what we got to do. We should go to machine testing. Machine testing. Machine testing will actually tell us what the top speed is. No, nope. I need to this. Machine tests. Max speed. Because I want to see what the top speed is. Because we can still tune it in here. But the goal is to see what's the fastest I can get this car to go. Forty four on the on first gear, sixty nine on second gear. One oh seven on third gear. This thing pushes. We've already bested the top speed. You're done, buddy, bro. <laughs> Mm 
and this should give us a sixth gear. I'm pretty sure when you get the full customized, you get a sixth gear. A full customized will give you a sixth gear, I'm pretty sure, so that's really good. So far, our top speed is 144.9. What we don't want is for it to be impossible for us to get to top gear. I want it to be able to be that we can get to like 6th gear at like 4,000 RPM. I don't want it to get to a state where like we're constantly redlining because then everyone will just pass you. It's really annoying then. Also, the goal is to get a jacked car and do... Something that we gotta do, get the Mitsubishi 3000, uh, one of the goals, get the Mitsubishi, uh, 3000 GT and max it out. Like, absolutely clapped out. And then, what we got to do is we need to get the, yeah, this thing, it kind of tops out. Alright, let's see Nightbot work. Oh, that's not doing anything. Well, that sucks. He, he, he's like trying to get it to work. <laughs> Final gear going. Spam the one. God damn, yeah, that's funny. I just save all these settings in case they go away. Well, well. I'm gonna switch a cunt and see if they ban. Forty. Oh wait, no, that's slightly worse. But like, no crap. But we're actually gonna be able to reach. Like, ban me. Prince. All I'm saying, you should subscribe. All I'm saying, Princess Peach should subscribe. That's all I'm saying. It's it's climbing the top speeds easier now. It's actually able to do it. Might actually be able to get it into sixth gear. Our goal is to be able to have the car be able to get into sixth gear. If the car can get into sixth gear, then that's good. I might. Oh wait, I can't change settings. All I can do is exit. So that's that is kind of annoying. So, uh, yeah, we're actually still gaining speed in corners. That's really good. Owie, that's mean. I hate that the camera's, like, always unfocused. That's so annoying. Because <laughs> of the fact that, uh, it do not be working yet, I guess so. Yeah, we're still gaining a top speed. Oh. Oh. The moderation to be working. Come on. Shift, 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 shift. You can do it, buddy. Do it. So I, sh I should probably just make the, I should probably just make, um, oh, I have it all, yeah, it's a little goofy, but. Well, 
also adjust that a little bit. In GT Audio, 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 I think... We'll change more than just cause it's funny. What's up, chat? Nothing. Nothing. Wrong. Alrighty, let's try to uh Hi Scout, how you doing game? No way, I don't want to do this one. I don't like that one. I want to have fun. What's there to do now? The only real thing to do is now just grind something. I guess the only thing there really is to do now is just grind for a new car. Um, I believe the 3000 GT is about 20k credits. I'll check after this race, but... Literally, my my um 3000 GT has like on my goaded account, which actually I'll show you it. I'll, I'll show you it. it. Just just give me a second. Like you know, you kind of just gotta trust. Never mind. Can't find it. I I was literally gonna grab one of my PS2 memory cards, cause that that's where it's on. It's on my, it's on one of my memory cards, cause you know I can just save that crap. Even though the PS2 is dead, I still have the ability to look at that stuff. Oh yeah, easy claps catching up now. Move out of the way, I'm the Kool-Aid man. I'ma hop off, have a good night, Hunter. Alrighty. Bro is spreading the love. The love from men, I mean, the, the boys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, they don't even stand a chance now. It's not like I'm some insane beast. Like, I'm just able to now actually win these races pretty easily now. Instead of being some that, like, oh, yay, the last second clutch up. It's like, nah, I'm, I can get these guys really easily. First lapper. Like, no worries. Oh, buddy. Suppose I'm swallowing something, I like, like, focus for some reason. I have to, like, focus on swallowing. Oh, yeah, the, the R32 is, like, <laughs> four seconds behind us. He's getting beaten by a Vix. Something about a Vitz being able to top speed at like 153 is kind of funny though. <laughs> Just this little crack wagon going like 153. <laughs> it makes no sense, but it's funny. I like that thought. It's a good thought. Don't go in the dirt. Don't go in the dirt. Don't go in the dirt. Yay. I will say, now that we have racing brakes and racing slicks, I can just go, wee right down. Oh, tire wear. We gotta deal with tire wear. I don't like that. Tire wear also doesn't even really exist that much in early stages. The goal is to get the endurance license as soon as possible. The only annoyance is the fact that the endurance license does require... The International A License. International A License is torture. I hate it. 
Getting the international licenses was so hard. I actually had to spend like two hours getting the international licenses. I decided to do them in one go because of the fact that there's not a lot of races that actually use international B races. It usually just skips right to international A, including a lot of the random crap. Hold on, we're in five minutes. I believe it's 13k. I think it's 13k for the full customized transmission. Not that I really need that. I really sh I have a competent car. If I ha as long as I have the competent car, that's all I need. How much is the 3000 GT? You know, it's kind of funny. I'm making such progress on this file, but it's and it's like, oh man, I'm gonna miss it all when I like switch to my back to my PS2. But it's like, no, I have a jacked account on my PS2. The C5R is a goaded car. We love the C5R and the Grand Sport. I like the Grand Sport. This is a cool car. This is an, I'd love to own this car in real life. The Admiral Blue Metallic. Dodge differently. Uh, Dodge Viper GTS is the only good one. Fight me. I don't care. I, even if I lose, I don't really care. I could at least die my bio, by my opinion. Also, why is it like against the USA? Uh, Mitsubishi is not an American manufacturer of vehicles. These cars are literally the same. I have this car. And I got... No, it's a 43K. Mm -hmm. I have the green one. That was probably a mistake. The red one's kind of the goaded version. Does this one even look any different? Oh, this one has a pretty nice blue, though. It has pop-ups. It has pop-ups. And I do like pop-ups. One reason that I hate that I can't drive a Miata. Mm, pop-ups. I love pop-ups. I should probably stop the stream here. I didn't plan on this stream being very long. I'm happy that we got some progress on Gran Turismo. That's all I really care about. Man, tomorrow's already Sunday. I'm sad. Alright. I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow.